With the rise of many AI tools in the market, what are some examples of the benefits that business owners enjoy when harnessing the power of artificial intelligence? I think, I mean, Service Titan is the perfect example. If a company goes from pen and paper, running technicians off of standard phone calls, off of a standard job board, and they implement Service Titan and use data uniformity to where you can really start assessing how does your schedule look? You can really get a full 360 view of your business. The first thing that these people need to do is get a CRM. I think a lot of entrepreneurs overlook the value of something like Service Titan. And again, it's so complicated. There's like you said, there's so many different AI tools. But if you just rely on a big tech company, you know Service Titan, if they implement like some marketing pro feature, you know, like they are leading the way with AI. I was inspired into AI in the first place by at Pantheon 2022. I went out there and the whole theme was bringing AI to the trades. So I think the simple kind of roundabout way to get back to that is if you just partner with organizations or platforms that you know are kind of leading the charge, you don't necessarily have to be a master of AI. You can say, hey, I know Service Titan and the engineers over there are doing cutting edge things. Maybe I can adopt them, you know, without breaking my business. You know, what always scared me is, is that I think a lot of people are afraid of big tech is accumulating all this data and then using it for other companies. What are the largest garage door platform. I know there's some some franchises getting on the service chain, but I would never want my data and what service time learns being used for all my competition because I got a big data set. How is that kind of protected? So very specifically, we are trying for the, the ads team, at least to require some sort of opt in to where uh, anyone that opt in opts in, you can share your data see benchmarks, things like that. Something important to, to consider with AI, and you see it a lot with Google Ads and it's smart bidding, its own kind of inherent machine learning. The better your business is, the more AI will do for you. And so by opting in and sharing your data with these models, because that's how it works, you feed more data in, it can do its job better. And really better businesses will thrive in that because you're going to close the phone calls. You're going to have a higher ticket average, higher conversion rate, better rehash skills to recover some of that revenue. You're going to sell more service agreements. You're going to use more financing, which we call promotions. But you, the, all, all the above that most businesses haven't even necessarily opted into. There's so many businesses still out there, no offense, guys, that are still using paper invoices. It wouldn't even be a fair fight to go into that market with the data we have. On every single technician and CSR and dispatcher, you know, we dispatch for profits. So if we got a guy half an hour, another guy 45 minutes, and there's a guy that's better at the, the house with three doors, we're gonna send the guy that's 45 minutes away. So it's not always what's best for every business, because one guy might say, listen, we've already got set pricing for this job. We're optimizing for routes. And maybe that's what you do for pest control and pool services. We're like, listen, this guy's equipped to sell three doors. He's got a better foundation of and the knowledge of a wood overlay door, what that might be. So understanding what technician for the dispatch, what CSR. We do a round robin, but it's a weighted round robin. So our top CSRs get more volume. They can make more money because it, wouldn't you want that at your business? Wouldn't you want the star quarterback to play in the game? Or do you want the third string guy coming in all the time? Hopefully not, unless you're Green Bay. No, I'm kidding.